So what happens when you combine red light therapy with methylene blue? As you may already know, red light therapy is one of the most popular forms of light therapy. And methylene blue is this new kind of neurotropic hack where people are literally supplementing with an ink and they're saying it helps with their energy and their focus. But what happens when you combine these two modalities together? So in this video, I'm going to unpack the science of both red light therapy and methylene blue and how they could potentially work together. And at the end, I'm also going to tell you how you can find a good source of methylene blue so you don't just end up with a blue ink that is essentially from a pen and you actually get a product that will work. So I'm a big anime fan, which means I cannot skip this opportunity. There is a perfect metaphor here that references back to these two things. So there's a character called Satoru Goju. He has two techniques where one is red and one is blue. Red basically means he can push things away from himself. Blue means he can attract them towards him. And as the series goes on in this anime, when he finds out he can combine these two things together, he creates a new technique called hollow purple. And what hollow purple is, is basically this magical kind of thing where he's attracting and repelling at the same time and it creates something that can literally destroy anything in its path. Now the reason I use this metaphor is because both of those techniques do have their uses just like red light therapy does, just like methylene blue does, but as we're going to be discussing in this video, when you combine them there's this synergy that happens and obviously you're not going to destroy everything in your path, but there's a very powerful effect that happens in your biology. So first of all, what is methylene blue? Methylene blue is literally a dye. It was created in 1876 and used primarily as a dye, a blue dye. And then in 1891, they found that it had some therapeutic uses. So it started to be used to treat malaria and then certain blood conditions where you didn't carry oxygen properly in your blood. And then to date, on label, it is still used to treat things like shock and cyanide poisoning. And then very interestingly, certain types of cancers, especially breast and mouth cancer, they do still use methylene blue. Now off label, this has been picked up in the biohacking and health community. And using methylene blue has been reported to slow aging, enhance memory and focus, and protect against brain diseases such as Alzheimer's and Parkinson's. Now I have personally used methylene blue and it's a very interesting substance. It does enhance your focus and I find that I can get through quite a bit of work, but it's a very interesting experience. It is a dye, and I remember the first time that I took it, it literally felt like high school. Like I'd been chewing on a pen, and then you know when you accidentally crack through too far and you end up with ink in your mouth? That is exactly what it tastes like. So to explain how methylene blue and red light therapy work together, we do need to cover some basic biology. I'm not going to be diving deeply into this. I don't feel like revisiting the trauma from my science studies, but I'm going to keep it very simple. In your mitochondria, so your mitochondria are the powerhouses in your cells, there's something called the electron transport chain. Now what this basically does is it creates energy in your cells. During the process, what happens is electrons move through this process and they create essentially a charge. That charge is used to make energy or ATP. A good way to think of how the electrons are doing this is if you could imagine pushing a rock up a hill, you would then have the potential to push the rock down the hill and it would be able to generate force and energy on its own. So it's the same in the electron transport chain where electrons are moving through this process and it's creating a gradient or a potential and then your cells will use that stored potential to drive a process which makes this ATP that is literally the currency of energy within your cells. Now how do methylene blue and red light therapy fit into this process? I'm going to use an analogy here so we can keep it as simple as possible. Imagine that you are on a cooking show and you are told that you need to make the most extravagant, amazing meal, but the only ingredients in front of you are three eggs and a potato. And just as you're about to start, your friend arrives and your friend has five big bags of shopping and he's got all the groceries that you need. Methylene blue is like that friend. So what methylene blue does is it donates electrons into this process. So you need the electrons to move through. Methylene blue is the friend that brings the groceries and allows the process to happen because now you have all the equipment. Now your friend has just arrived so you're at the cooking show, you've got all the ingredients you need to get started but as you're about to start you think to yourself I actually don't feel like doing this, I don't really have the motivation to cook this food and then all of a sudden as you're about to start Gordon Ramsay walks onto the stage and he's got two slices of bread in his hand. What are you? An idiot sandwich. Idiot sandwich. Sandwich, Chef and this now gives you the motivation to get started with your cooking. Well, Gordon Ramsay is 
kind of like red light therapy, and I can't believe I'm using that as a metaphor, but red light therapy, what it does is it donates photons or energy into this process. So you're at, you're at your cooking show now, your friend, Methylene Blue, has brought all the ingredients you need, and you've got the motivation from Gordon Ramsay, and together, this gives you everything you need to create the most extravagant dish. And that is basically how these things work together in your mitochondria. I can't keep myself together here. <laughs> So what are the proven benefits of combining methylene blue and red light therapy together? What I'm going to do now, I've got a couple of studies that I'm just going to skim over. So I'm not going to go too deeply into any of them because I want to give you an overview of the benefits. But for each study that I show you now, I will give you a keyword. So let's say, for example, I say the keyword is brain. If you want to find out more about that specific benefit, then head down to the comment section and mention that keyword. As soon as I release a future video on that topic, I will go through all the comments on this video and then I will send a link to you so you can go and check it out. If there's many different benefits that you want, just write down all the keywords, put them all into one message, and then I will know to share the future video with you. So the first study is titled Mitochondrial Respiration as a Target for Neuroprotection and Cognitive Enhancement. So this one looked at combining a few things together for Alzheimer's and Parkinson's, and they were combining methylene blue, red light therapy, and ketogenic diets. So if you wanna find out more about that, you can go and read the study yourself or comment the word brain down below. The next study is titled, A Novel Approach of Combining Methylene Blue, Photodynamic Inactivation, Photobiomodulation, and Oral Ingested Methylene Blue in COVID-19 Management, a pilot clinical study with 12-month follow-up. This study is really, really cool. I know I have to be a little bit careful with this topic, but, they found that when they combined red light therapy and methylene blue, they were able to get rid of all symptoms and clear out within 12 to 24 hours. If you want to see this one, and we need to be careful of the keyword here, drop the word HEAL, H-E-A-L, in the comment section, and then I will let you know as soon as there's a video on this topic. The next one, which is very interesting to me, is called Treatment of Recurrent Herpes of the Lower Lip Skin Region with Photodynamic Therapy and Photobiomodulation, a case report. So this is very interesting. I personally have suffered from cold sores. I used to always get them on the corner of my mouth over here. I haven't had them in a really long time, years, and I think it could be because of maybe just the red light therapy at this point. But in this case, they had a patient who literally had to check himself into hospital because he was getting recurrent breakouts. After 10 days of combining methylene blue and red light therapy, they completely healed up. And when they followed up with him eight months later, he hadn't had a single outbreak since then. So if you wanna see a future video on that, you can comment the word you. <laughs> Don't comment that. Comment the word cold sore, and then I will let you know as soon as there's a future video on that one. The last one is called a study on the macroscopic morphometry of the lesion area on diabetic ulcers in humans treated with photodynamic therapy using two methods of measurement. So this one is treating ulcers in diabetic patients. If you wanna see a future video on this, drop the word ulcers and then we'll let you know as soon as that one is out. Now, if you do wanna get started with methylene blue, I must preface, this is not medical advice, but you do need to be aware of the fact that there are a lot of products out there that aren't fit for human consumption. So methylene blue, as we already mentioned, is a dye. In many cases, if you went onto Amazon and bought something, you might end up with a dye that is actually meant to be used to clean fish tanks. So the brand that I've always used, and I'm not affiliated with them at all, is called Troscriptions. You can go and check out their website. They do these really cool little square pouches that you can just literally put on your tongue. They're very easy to dose because they're little squares. You can figure out if one works for you, if you go two or three. They give the dosage and everything like that on there. Not affiliated in any way, but you can go and check out Troscriptions. When it comes to red light therapy devices, I am affiliated here as I am the founder of a company called Mitochondria, and I would be biased, but I do believe that we have the best quality home devices on the market. A lot of the red light therapy devices out there are garbage. They essentially just piggyback on the results that we get in clinical studies, whereas Mitochondria has taken an approach where we're bridging the gap between clinical results and home-based devices. So all of our devices match up to the clinical studies in the same specifications. Our protocols are all based on scientific studies. So if you want to check those out, head over to mitochondria.com. And if you want to find out how long it would take before you get results with red light therapy, I've done a video over here where we talk about the timeline of red light therapy. So you can figure out when you do red light therapy, what will you feel in your first session? 
what will happen within the first two weeks, what happens within two weeks to two months, and then even what happens beyond the two month mark. So you wanna find out what'll happen when you get yourself a red light therapy device, go and check out this video. If you have any questions, please feel free to drop them in the comment section below. And then obviously those keywords that we gave you, drop them below and we'll make sure that you get a link as soon as the next video comes out. Other than that, I hope that you have a great day further and we'll chat again soon. Cheers.